What's going on everyone? We're here at TG Chapman Auto. Today we have this 2019 Ford Explorer Limited. As you can see here with our new LED daytime running lights that can also be really good as headlights, but then you have your normal headlights, your side marker lights, your fog lights, and your brights. Taking a look at all the panels in the car here, we're going to see if we can find any cosmetic exterior imperfections or anything visibly wrong with the vehicle. Uh, I doubt that we'll be able to, but we're still going to take a look, make sure everything does look fine. Make sure you guys an overview of all the panels. That door's open. It's not a gap. And uh, speaking of gaps, ensuring there's no gaps or anything of the sort, as this vehicle does hold a branded title, because most of the vehicles we do sell here come with a branded title, we have a team of builders that specialize in bringing these cars back to life and making sure they look perfect as if they just came out of the factory. So we're gonna take a deeper look here and then check out the interior, see if we can find anything special. But then just give you guys a basic overview of the 2019 Explorer Limited with four wheel drive. I already had it on here to have the DRLs running. Let's go ahead and start it up. Starts up right away, as you can see. Going to make sure there's no lights on the dash. And as you can see, the door open and seatbelt are the only two lights on, obviously, because the door is open and my seatbelt's not on. But nothing mechanically wrong with this vehicle as it is inspected by our shop. And it is also third party inspected by Blue Star. We do not have access to the Blue Star reports and we do not have any interference with them. And it is a solely third party opinion on the undercarriage of the car and everything that could be done to improve the scoring of the car taking a look here you'll find that the limited will come with ac cooled seats and heated seats as well here we have all of our climate control options for our windshield and rear window here we have our normal temperature and climate control settings air conditioning and such here you'll find your main display where you can control the same settings as you just did with the climate physically with a touch screen button by just pressing on them. Here we have a heated steering wheel as well. So once again, heated steering wheel, heated seats, cooled seats, and then the usual climate control settings. Now this car also is equipped with uh, built-in hotspot Wi-Fi, uh, roadside assistance, uh, roadside call, in case something happens and you need to call roadside assistance from the vehicle itself. Um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and loads of other things. So here you can see the view of our map, where you can check out navigation, um, your text with Apple CarPlay, your music, and your Apple Maps with Apple CarPlay, or your Google Maps with Android Auto. Taking a look here to the left, you'll find the remote trunk opening, your tow mode, your headlight um, adjustment, and your uh, main gauge cluster display, light brightness adjustment, here the steering wheel, you'll find your cruise control settings, and here you'll find your call settings, start call, end call, speak, and volume up and down. Now, here on the center, you'll find your different drive modes, anywhere from normal to, I believe this would be an adaptive mode, uh, dry mode, and snow mode, and is for hill descent uh, assist on the cruise control, so the car doesn't go up to a crazy speed as you're going downhill. Here you'll find your USB Type A and 12 volt lighter port to plug in your device for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and just to charge your devices usually, or plug in an extra device. Here on the key fob, you'll find this card comes with your actual and usual, sorry, usual lock and unlock uh, buttons. But then you'll also find remote start and remote trunk open and close. And here in the back, you find your Ford logo. Let's go ahead and put that away. Taking a look at our rear seats here, you have your second row, and then you also have your third row seating. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now, as a little way of checking in, so far we have discovered this car has 68,000 miles, comes with a brand new title, has no mechanical issues, it's in perfect running and cosmetic condition. Super, super clean, super well detailed. Here you'll find heated rear seats, which is absolutely fantastic. Like not a lot of cars have that, but here you'll find your heated rear seats, your rear climate control settings, 
fan speed, climate, and here you'll find your AC adapter to plug in a device as if you were plugging into a wall for faster charging or in case you want to charge your laptop or something of the sort and you have no access to a 12 volt adapter, this will do the job just perfectly. Here you find USB two USB type A's as well to charge more devices, usually cell phones or such. And here you'll find your third row seating. So let's go ahead and play with that for a little and then finish this review. Here you find your reverse camera, trunk opening on its own. Here you can control your third row. So you have normal stow, fold, and right hand side, both or left hand side. So if you click stow, they will all be tucked into this bottom end here. If you click just fold, they'll be sitting as they are right now. So let's go ahead and click normal. And we have both selected, so we have to press and hold. Give you a wider look here. And as you can see, the seats come up. And then obviously you pull uh, the headrest and adjust it to how you want it to. Uh, now let's go ahead and click stow. So you guys can see how they fold in place over here on the bottom. Beautiful. We're going to leave them like that actually. It's better on my end. Let's go ahead and close our trunk. And there you have it guys. 2019 Ford Explorer Limited. Four wheel drive. Heated and cold seats. Heated rear seats. Loads of options. Thank you so much for watching. This is available for sale at tjshotmanauto.com. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.